Hi, I'm Bryony Griffith. This is my delightful husband and musical partner, Will Hampson. Hello. And uh, we are in lockdown at home in Shat in Uddersfield in West Yorkshire with our two lovely children, one of whom is sitting here with us, one of whom is upstairs, hopefully asleep, so we'll try not to wake her up. Um, so you'd think that there would be plenty of time to play music together when you're just stuck at home, but... Um, there's not so we haven't actually played together for oh i don't know certainly no. before we had the baby in Nine october <laughs> longer i don't know anyway so we're just going to um do this little show uh that we've been asked to do by our lovely friend uh danny peddler uh who's recording people's last shows on earth so if this was our last show on earth these are the three things we would play i'm not sure they necessarily would be it's just the three that we're gonna play <laughs> I, I think, think they would be. Uh, I think if I'd done it on my own, there would probably be three different ones, and also likewise, you would choose three oh, different ones. Oh, I wouldn't ones. even be able to remember three on my own. There you go then. No, Good job. We're together. Um, so we're going to do some tunes, a miserable song, and a jolly song. That seems to kind of cover our uh, general repertoire. So we're going to start with. Well, do you want to explain the first tune? Yes, I can do. Um, it's a tune called Joanne Schofield that... Did I find it in a book? You've, uh, it's the That's only very, tune very we'll rare. ever found in a book. I found this in a book. Um, a book of Northumbrian pipe tunes, is it? Oh, this it's... is the joy of being at home. I can get the book. Oh, my giddy Oh, it's exciting. So, <laughs> tune written oh, by... Oh, you ready? You got the book. It's written by Adrian Schofield. Fantastic, amazing uh, Northumbrian oh, Piper from and Lancashire. From Lancashire. Bear with me. Keep going. Uh, that's about it, isn't it? Oh, it was well, it's named after his sister, so it's called Joanne Schofield. Can't find it. We recorded it with Bedlam. Did we record it with Bedlam years ago? Didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I think so. And we oh, sent my mum to see his mum and dad is. to ask if we could record it. We did. She went in for a cup of tea, didn't she? And it's in this lovely book. From There's a lovely picture of Alistair Anderson just here also. That's nice. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, so uh, for some reason we'll learn that from the dots, which he's never done before or since. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's really quite hard to play on the fiddle. Um, it's, all, it's all like this. Um, so kind of in retaliation, I wrote a tune that I thought would be difficult to play on the melodeon because that's the kind of nice Which wife I am. But it's also really difficult to play on the fiddle, which was just foolish of me. Um, it's called Nine Green Bottles, and it was written in um, commemoration. That's not the right word, is it? Celebration. Celebration, Celebration of um, Chris Pitt and Joe Pitt's wedding, two of our wonderful Newcastle Kingsman friends. Um, and nine green bottles was the amount of uh, bottles of fizzy booze the female musicians drank. Through the course of the afternoon and evening, uh, it was very messy, but it was great. So, let's crack on. You ready? No, let me have some water first. Right. <laughs> Thank 
Good job it's the last one on earth, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, I have to play that one again. It's really hard. Right. Um, right, so that was a bit jolly, so we'll, we'll do a miserable song now. Um, so, although it is a fairly miserable subject, um, it is one of my favourite songs to sing, and it's a version of The Cruel Mother, and it's called The Lady of York, um, and it's on our album that we made just before we got pregnant with Jonah, um, so 2011 nine years ago we recorded this um and it's a tune that i got from the uh yorkshire garland website uh with a version of jim eldon singing it and he collected it from some gypsy children um so it's also called the greenwood sido and it's the story of basically a young woman who has fallen pregnant and um it's kind of sad. Well, it's, it's completely sad. It's incredibly sad, isn't it? It's not mm. just kind of sad. Um, she feels she can't cope with them for whatever reason. Um, we're not sure who the father is. It doesn't go into those details. Um, but she ends up killing them. Which, uh, obviously, I didn't approve of before having children. But since having children, it's even more poignant. But if you don't fancy uh, listening to the words, you can just ignore them and listen to the very pretty tune. And also join in with the chorus, which is lovely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
down by the river Bumpy. Okay, thank you very much. So we were uh, um, asked to do three. That's two down. So we'll do a jolly song to end with, and uh, our uh, special, <clears throat> special guest, our star guest, has patiently been waiting on the sidelines backstage to come and join in. Please welcome to the stage, <laughs> Jonah Hampson. Way past his bedtime, but we've Ooh. let him stay up. Woo! He's got his Big Brother t-shirt on. That's not the TV programme. That's because he's got a little sister. Do you want to say anything about the song? Mm, no. No, okay. Uh, so we're going to do a song that's very close to all our hearts. We spend quite a lot of time down in Senate in Cornwall. Uh, we normally go down at Springbank. Um, we actually weren't going to go this year anyway because uh, our teenage um, niece and nephew who we normally go with, we're going to be doing their GCSEs, which they're not now anyway, but we're not allowed to go anyway, are we? So uh, we're not going to get our Cornwall fix uh, this year. So we'll just keep singing the songs, eh? And who did we get it from, Jonah? Mm, Brenda Wotton. Brenda Wotton, marvellous. 20 million folk points to you, good lad. Uh, and we actually went round the churchyard, didn't we, that this song's about? Are you going to tell everyone what the song's called? Um... No. No. <laughs> All right. It's called The Ringers of Eglisale, and we actually went round Eglisale uh, on our way back up from Cornwall last twice. year. Twice. We've done it twice. We've done it twice. Yeah, me and Will, I made Will do it several years ago, and then uh, we'd, I wouldn't say we made Jonah do it. You wanted to do it, didn't you? Yeah. It's very exciting. And did we find <laughs> any of them? Yeah. Well, the graves. Yeah, we found a couple of the graves. But um, I think some have fallen over since the last time we went looking. I'm sure we found Maybe more. so. But anyway, if you want to go yeah. on a trip when we're allowed to Eglisale, um, you can see the tower where they used to practice. And the, the ringers of Eglisale were the absolute winners. And like Jonah said, we got it from a CD, Brenda Wooten. Uh, we used to go down with Mac and Nicky, Will's mum and stepdad. Uh, and whenever we crossed over the Cornish border, Mac would put a Brenda Wooten CD on, which was marvellous. But if you happen to be asleep in the back, it was quite a rude awakening because she's a very loud voice. But we still do that now, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And uh, Jonah said earlier, he said, oh, well, I like a bit of Brenda. <laughs> so thank you very much. This is uh, this has been our last show on Earth. Hopefully not really. And we're going to play a little tune called The Rose Hill as well. Yeah. You ready, mister? Yeah. Cool. Okay, thank you very much for having us. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Take care, yeah, keep safe. Really. Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> nice and steady. Steady. Yeah, we'll see how we go. One, two, oh, yeah. three, <laughs> go. Now as quiet as the cold rain 
Jerry rang the travel bell. January was the second man, and few could him excel. The third was Paul the Carpenter, the fourth was Thomas Cleave. And good fellow, the tenor man, he rang the round so brave. Land livery men, said you, the men, said Raymond and said you. But these five boys are bigger than sail, but all the rest are blue.